Alright everybody, what is going on? Welcome back to another video and to my reaction to the first game of week number three of the new professional American football league in America, sorry that was a bit of a tongue twister, uh, the AAF, the Alliance of American Football. I'm really excited to follow this new league. Um, I know some of you guys are too, probably not as many as are into the NFL of course, but me being from Australia or from New Zealand, living in Australia, having dived real deep into the world of American football over the last nine months. This is just a continuation of my, I guess, introduction into the game. So I can't wait to watch it. We've got four, four games to watch. Highlight Heaven is the channel that I'm going to be watching them from. I'm not going anywhere near NFL, <laughs> the, the channel NFL, because I'm guaranteed to get copyright, which is fucking shit. Not only do I not get anything from it, but you guys have the risk of, of it being blocked as well. So I'm going to stay away from NFL, although they are still putting out the highlights. I'm going to Highlight Heaven. I'll see you in a second. Let's roll the intro and get into it. The quicker you're here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is... Okay, what have we got here? Let's go. Arizona Hotshots vs Salt Lake Stallions. AAF Week 3. Game number one. Let's do it. Look at now, hands the ball off to the left side. That's Oliver. Decent He's run. Up the first down down the left sideline. It's up in the shotgun with twin wide right. receivers left. The pump fake down the field. Oh! Just outside the stretched arms. Of Unlucky. 18, Sam Mobley. Excuse me, uh, that's Brian Timms on the intended uh, receiver. And we've got a flag. Defense number 21. Better. Illegal contact. What do we got here? Salt Lake Stallions. They are 0-2. The same as the Legends. 38-22, 12-9. Arizona Hot Shots. What are you going to do? The audio's out a little bit. What a... F oh, hey! Offensive uh, pass interference, right? He's <laughs> tackled. What are you doing on the ground, mate? By Sterling Moore. Interference. Defense number 25. In fact, there were four field goal attempts. This will be a 54 yard attempt for the Stallions. 54 yards. Nice kick. Well done. That was right down the middle, gentlemen. Well, n no, it wasn't, mate. It was actually to the left. Well, I can pass again at this time. A quick slant inside of Marquise Bundy. Pick up a 15. I want to see how fast that 31 came in. He was looking for blood. Watch this. Right down the middle, gentlemen. Well, I can pass again. Hey! <laughs> but the uh, the hot shots receiver just slightly cut at the last second to get away. Well done. Land inside of Marquise Bundy. Pick up a 15 yards on the play. Here. Two of three. There's a 45-yard attempt. He made a 53-yarder in week one against the Stallions, and that one's hooked. That's a bad kick. Outside. Right, so here we go. Fourth down and two. As they hand the ball back inside to Bonio. Oh, the oh nice first down. On second effort, picks up a couple. As again, Niles Morgan, the linebacker, is in on the stop, and that looks like it's good enough for a first down. Oh, it is. Mario here does a really good job. They're just going to run a dive play and try to get double teams across the board. But it's the key of running your feet when you hit contact. And you see as he's driving his feet, his offensive linemen are pushing, he's fighting and crawling. I really like that camera angle from behind, especially for runs with the, uh, the running backs, because we can really see the way that they set up the cuts and set up their play. Scratching to get the bird down. That's now the shotgun. Three wide receivers left and hands the ball off to Blondie on the right side. Finds a hole near the first down marker. That's Niles Moore going to get with a stop. Picks up five yards on the play. It's kind of like, can you imagine playing Madden on the side view? Like they do when you first play, when you first start playing NBA, which I have done recently. Um, they put it on the side view, you know, t broadcast view or whatever it's called. I instantly change it back to like 2K or behind the play. Just like you see in Madden, because if it's at the side, you really just you can't you, you can't get the depth. You don't know where you are. You don't know how far away the defenders are. You can't really see the cuts. Um, but a mixture of of broadcast view and the behind view is perfect for me. You don't want all of one or all of the other. Do you agree? 
the need to change when they come up just short. This offensive line, I mean, they are going for it now, and you have a lot of things going on here. And we're going to show you, these guys are yeah, we all going to go this way. Yeah. But now you're going to see the line start to move as the running back goes, and it's about getting pushed going forward. That quarterback could have faked it and had completely open space right in front of him. They're, they're creating a, a new offense, a new line of scrimmage there. They're having success right now. So Wonder who's commentating. Third and four for Woodrum. He finds the slant over the middle of the football field. Oh. That's Peterson now breaking a tackle. Touchdown, Stallions. 24 yards off the reception. And Salt Lake nice is work. open it up here early in the second quarter. Nice work staying on your feet. And this is what this offense is about right here. You have a ton of short passes. Quick ends, quick ends, the tight end's gonna clear out. I actually thought it was a bit of a lazy, a lazy sort of pass. You know, there was nothing like I guess really uh, quick fire about it. But let's see All how it happens. Is just find a way. Lost the block right here by 83. Just turns around, just takes a just a piece. Well, it does look faster from behind, actually. Woodrow to the sideline, incomplete. Terrific <clears throat> job by Robert Nelson of the Hot Shots as the ball was intended for Brian Tibbs. Why did he shake the referee's so, hand? Salt Lake finds themselves up 9 nothing, looking for their first win of the season against the Hot Shots. And then they have a sack that sets them back. They have a chance to go down and really pile on to, these, to the lead that they already have. Austin Rico with a punt. That is a... Shows him not to be fielded. 60 yard. Go! Go, go, go. I like this. I like this. I like this. I like this. All the way to the right sideline and near midfield. I'd like to see it from behind now. Actually, that's, that's how I'd like it. And that's how they usually do it with the camera angles. Forget about what I said before. You watch it from the side with general play. Once they go back to a replay, that's when they start you know, messing around with the camera angles. On the return. Got it. By the way, I, we don't have a number 12, by the way, on the roster. We're going to have to find out who that is. Oh, is that <laughs> really? Holloman. That's yeah, the new wide receiver. Yeah, Tion Holloman, who they just signed, I believe, late in the week. Late in the week? He just signed? Really? Where did he sign from? Solomon. Solomon, let me let me see this. I'm really, uh, honestly, I'm so interested in, in the, the caliber of players and where they've come from, what, what sort of teams they've played with, because, you know, this is, this could be my shot, okay? And for, for the guy who said, don't be so cocky, Jacob, you've never played a game of American football in your life, I hear you, I hear you, and that's all I'm gonna say. I, hang on, is he on their roster on Wikipedia? That'll, that'll, that'll say something. Uh, what do we got? Wide receivers. He is not on the list just yet. But you will be. Second and three. Give it to the running back. Second and three. And they don't. Now Ross, Ross has been uh, quite impressive. He's fast. At about the he's fast. Round. You get him around the outside like they just, just did there, and he's pretty lethal. Pickup of eight. Nick Folk to attempt a 48 yard. Who the goal. fuck is Nick Folk? This you better get it. And this one right down the middle. And only, Arizona only just had the distance. On the board. So, hot shots. Shot, mate. Trail by six. Nine three in favor of Salt Lake. Ooh, the Vista Barty room. He was Pac-12 Defensive Player of the Year, so certainly has a lot of skill. Woodrow, out of the shotgun, finds his intended receiver. Shot. Kaylin K. Bam. Play, excuse me, picks up 14 on the play. The officials hold the Arizona Hot Shots offense. Play action, and over the shot top. Shot, Ross. Roper finds his intended wide receiver, Deshaun Ross. A pickup of 16 on the play. Down! Motion by the tight end, Duarte. Did it get out? Get rid of it. He throws the ball out to the far sideline, underthrown, but his wide receiver comes back to pick it up. So that's a catch. 23 yards on the play as Freddie Martino climbs the ladder to pull the ball down out of the air. Uh, listen, a really good play. Out and up, he rolls over, 
Going around the field is a ball with Kabir. Sell the Kabir out with your eyes and your shoulders. Turn around, you have to come back and make a play on the ball. Do you know what? <laughs> the fact that... The reason that I mentioned the commentators before, and the reason I'm, I'm mentioning it now, is because that voice sounds very, very familiar, and I've just worked out who it sounds like. It sounds like Tyron Woodley, <laughs> the UFC welterweight champion. Fakes it inside. Nobody takes the fake, and he's sacked. A loss of seven yards on the play, and it's Mike Purcell with a penetration. Game seven seconds now in the first half is Wolford. <laughs> Jesus, was he over the line? Let's have a look at that. I'm going to make up my own mind. Let's see what he did here. How did he get open? Second and goal, probably two yards out. Well, they are two yards out. Where's Ross? He's right here. He's just bouncing around. What's he going to do? Bouncing around. Bang! That was a dart, all right. And the first touchdown of the day for this Arizona football team. What? And the old snag concept. We're also going to come in motion, sit here. You're going to run a flat and run a corner. Don't forget to cover the snag. Just waiting for everybody to clear come out. Come on, man. Ross, Ross is lethal. you got to be on him. Shot. How long that football? The formation. Wolford. Go. Go. Lateral. That's the read option. That's Trevor Knight, excuse me. Trevor Knight is their first pick at the quarterback position. What just happened there? It's like goal line. After further review, video evidence proves that the ball was short of the line to go to the goal line. As a result, it was an unsuccessful point after try. Let me see this. I like these runs. I like these little... How did he not score this? He should have drawn and passed, as we call it in rugby. Look. Right oh, now. Oh, no. Shit, he just, he should have scored that, point blank. That blocker did a perfect job with the long hair. It's the read option. Looks like Bakhtiari. Trevor Knight, excuse me. And I remember him from the top 100 list of 2018. Trevor Knight is their first pick at the quarterback position. It's like goal line. After further review, video evidence proves that the ball was short of the line to get the goal line. As a result, it was an unsuccessful point after try. So to begin the second half, Arizona will open up play from the 25-yard line. First and 10, intercepted. That's Greer Martini who picks it out of the air. The intended wide receiver Good catch. over the middle. 18 yards Looked like a frog. It was just like... The return and Wolford is down. He's been taking shots all night, guys. And, and you know, this might have been the one here. When you talk about it, he's trying to get the ball out quick. And they just miss uh, identify the protection. Well, what is the left tackle doing right here, Maurice? Malcolm Bunch, you've got to block the defensive end. If you don't block him, who does? When the left guard's blocking the D tackle. So Car Carter Schultz unblocked. He gets a free hit on the quarterback. Okay. Look at the dive to Brandon Oliver, who finds his way into the end zone. And Six more points for the Stallions. Not easy to stop someone, it doesn't matter who they are, in American football from a couple of yards out. It's just, it's not easy, is it? I mean, the running back has to make two yards, and they're in. Three yards. Hmm. What is the best play from like, well, if you're first and goal, or th second and goal, third and goal, it doesn't matter what it is, what is the best play? What, what's your, what's your go-to play, your 100% play? That's going to get that running back or receiver or quarterback in the end zone from two yards out. Let me know in the comment section below. Anytime you get that close to the, the goal line with this offensive line, you should be running downhill. It should be no. I want to say I'd always bounce out wide, either left or right, but the amount of touchdowns I've seen, like going through the middle, basically, what do they call it? Like a, a, uh, a draw? Is it a draw? When the whole entire offensive line goes one way and the running back gets it and then bounces the other way. Is that a draw? I'm not sure. Type of side movements or adjustments. Let's see, see what happened here. Ball here. Let the running back make a, a read, jump cut, and figure out where he's going. Well, you can see the hot shots walked up their linebackers. Looks too <laughs> what? what did that hot what did that, that yellow guy came around the back and smashed someone? 
Did he smash the quarterback? No, 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 no. No, he was just following through on his block. The linebackers looks to. I'm gonna look for a lot of hands on hits later on in this drive. Get. Looking out of the play action, throws a dart. Yeah. To Kenny Bell. Indeed, but what happens is they got they collided and then. Thirty nine yards. He's got a little nervous. Too much juice. Thirty nine yard attempt. Oh. No. Not good. We're a donk. Hard line. Trevor Knight. Out of the shotgun, play action, takes a shot deep down the left sideline, intended for Josh Huff, and there's a flag on the play. C.J. Smith, the corner, in coverage. They're going to get pass interference here on the defense. Uh, just unless interference. Defense number 35. Crowd's getting into it. Nick Folk from 35 yards. He's already made one today from 48. That one's right down the middle. There's been a fair few kicks, hasn't there? It's is that just me, or, or has there been? I think each team's got at least two or three. Wait, they're going to go for it on fourth and inches. Fourth and inches. All right, guys, what are they going to do? Fourth and goal. Okay, let's have a look at this. They've got one receiver out here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There must be another receiver out left. What are they going to do? What are they going to do? Well, the quarterback's going to get it, and he's going to come back. And he's going to fake it to 36, go to the left. But really, number 80 is going to be bouncing on the inside. He's going to be completely open right about here. And they're going to score. Let's see. <laughs> Not quite. I haven't seen a signal yet from the officials. They say no. If that's correct, what a stand for this Arizona defense. After further review, it was determined that the ball carrier broke the plane of the goal line in possession of the ball. Gusted. Which results in a touchdown. Gusted for Arizona. To the right tight end down, wind up left. Can, you can make something and get it. Oh. Now that was like a, um, a drag. Is it a drag? Not a drag wheel. It's a... Uh, Kind of like a tight end attack, but you've got all your players going up and then going one way. So if that quarterback rolls out to the right and you've got all your receivers sort of making a right a right hand cut or going to the right, then all your receivers are going to be sort of in your line of sight. So it's going to be easier just to choose one. Now, I, I would have thought he'd go for the one that's closest to him, but obviously someone was behind that receiver and uh, was open for the ball. So I'm going to watch that again. I'm going to see where the receivers go and when they cut and if they all were going to the right, which I think they were. Left. Oh shit, okay, so these two receivers go in. Now they're making a curl and going out, whereas this receiver came through and he's going right too. So you're gonna have one, two, three receivers going right. One, two, three. And it was basically just choosing, they've, they've, they've each got a man on him, but, you know, if the, uh, if the attacker, if the receiver is in front of his defender, then the quarterback just needs to make a good throw, which he did, and uh, it's gonna be a touchdown. I wanna watch that again. Look at these two, look at these two guys out here. Look at these two receivers, the way that they curl at the exact same time. Watch this. <laughs> They're completely in sync, aren't they? It's like synchronized swimming. Right and finds his wide receiver, Pearson L. Huh. For his second touchdown of the day. So two point good. And just like that, we've got a 27 12 game. And the Arizona Hotshots will have the ball when we get back. Yeah. There was a lot of opportunity for him to score that. That was good. That was well set up. Shotgun goes outside and Fuck. The ball went through two sets of hands. Twice, once by Steve Williams, and the second time by CJ Smith as the ball's thrown way behind his intended wide receiver. 204 as of right now. Trevor Knight throws a strike over the middle. Um, I always say the second round, and a guy that can make plays with his legs more of a receiver than he is would retain possession of the ball for you if you're the Arizona Hutchins. So they get this, 
and the game's not over. They've still got a chance. He is up and good for Nick Ford. What are you going to do? Hail Mary? Did they just do a Hail Mary? Let, let's see where the receivers are set up. He is up and good for Nick Ford. I see what they're doing. It's 4th and 12. Okay, because it's their kick, right? But instead of taking a kick and trying to, trying to get... So it's their kick, but instead of going for an onside kick and trying to retain the ball, they're going for a 4th and 12 to keep the ball. This is one of the rule changes, isn't it? Okay, so 4th and 12. They're going to have to make a pass. If they do complete the pass, it's not all over. If they don't, she's all over. Let's get into it. Right from the shotgun, throws the ball Fucking terrible! Oh my god! He got oh fuck he got hit. And it is by oh that's that's just that's not fair. This this receiver's like, what the fuck, quarterback? What'd you just do to me? But was there a better option? Was there a better option? We've got one, two, three, four receivers running up. The quarterback needed more time. No, man, that's a terrible throw. When you've got to make 12 yards and you've got two fucking linebackers behind you and someone in front, I don't know what he is. I think he's a defensive lineman. Ball over the middle, a dangerous pass. Never gonna work. And it is caught by Duarte, but it looks like he'll come up short a gain of seven, and that's gonna do it. Best play in football. Should've gone for a run play, they wouldn't have expected that. So Woodrum will take the knee. It's the favourite uh, formation of football. Damn! <laughs> I didn't actually realise that there was East and West divisions. That's interesting. So what do we got? Atlanta are 0-2 and 0-1 in the division. And I'm assuming the top two from each division play semi-finals. And there you go. So Atlanta have some work to do. They've got some work to do. But it's not all over until the fat lady sings, as they say. So it's going to be 23-15 Salt Lake over Arizona. 23-15, that's a pretty entertaining game. I mean, any game that goes down to the wire where there is a chance for the other team to win is a good game in my books. So with that being said, guys, that was the first game of the week. We've got three more to go. I hope you enjoyed. I'm, uh, I'm actually pretty fucking tired right now, you know. <laughs> it's probably not the best time for me to be doing this. It's like 7.30 in the morning. I've, I haven't had much sleep. I've sort of um, been looking after my daughter a lot recently and uh, well, I just, I couldn't let this opportunity go. I needed to do these games. This morning I'm doing them and I hope you enjoy. So with that being said, like the video if you liked it and I'll see you in the next one.